if you want to make a portable Lightroom system, you'll need to get your presets from your computer's account into the area where the catalog is stored. Um, this vi short video will just show you how to do that. So we're going to take the following steps. I put this up here so you can just go back and review it again with the video. So we're going to open Lightroom, go to Preferences. We're going to select the Presets tab. We'll then ask Lightroom to show us where the presets are currently stored. That will take us into your deep into your computer account. We'll then copy that folder, then open another Finder or Explorer window, navigate to where your catalogue is stored, paste the tree that we've just copied above, and then we'll just rename that new tree as Lightroom Settings. And then finally, we'll open Lightroom Preferences and tick the Store Presets with this catalogue. And the reason we have to do this is the ticking of the presets here, Store This Presets with Catalogue, does not copy what's in your computer account out to the catalogue. It simply looks at your catalogue for the presets. So you end up losing, apparently, all your presets. That's why we have to go and copy them first and then paste them before this makes any sense. OK, so let's go off and do that. So first step, we've got Lightroom already open. We'll go to the Preferences. We'll look at the Presets tab. You'll see that at the moment that's not ticked because it's using the presets that are built into the computer account. So we press this button, not this button. When we do that, a Finder window opens and you'll see that it's buried down inside your computer account. The important thing is that this is the folder it brings you to, this Lightroom folder. So we're going to copy that. So we do copy. Next thing I'm going to do is open a new window. And this is window I'm going to paste into. So my Lightroom folder, which is where my catalog is stored, is here. And what I'm going to do is just paste that folder into there. So that's pasted the tree. Now, at the moment, the folder is called Lightroom. It needs to be called Lightroom Settings. So we'll just rename that Lightroom Settings. And the last step we need to do is come back to our Lightroom Preferences. So we come back here to Lightroom Preferences, and now we tick this item here, which is Store Presets with Catalog. And you'll see that it says nothing's going to happen until we come out of Lightroom back in. All the ticking of uh, this does is point Lightroom at where the presets are. So it doesn't move anything around. It'll expect to find some presets there. We'll close that. Just before I leave here, you'll see I'm in the print module for this version of Lightroom, and you can see that I've got a lot of presets that I've made. I definitely don't want to lose those. So I'm now going to close Lightroom, and we'll skip the backup this time. And when it's finished, we'll then restart Lightroom. Here it comes. Now on the surface of it, we won't see any difference because the presets have been copied and pasted into the catalogue area and we've pointed it now at the catalogue area. So everything should look the same, but what we can do is check to see where it's getting them from by looking at the Lightroom preferences. And we'll press the button to say, show us where they are. Okay, so it started up. You can see that the preset's all there. So the next thing we need to do is just do preferences. You can see that it's looking to the catalogue, and if we click this button, you'll see that it's coming to my local hard disk pictures, Lightroom, Lightroom settings, and that's where everything's coming from. And just to see, make it easier for you to see, the print templates, here's all my user templates, and these are all of these folders here. Okay.